Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are excited for today's video based on the title because I'm so excited about today's video. Today we are finally going to be talking about the new Odin's Eye and Angelica Nikovic Hella palette. I don't know if I told you guys that I purchased this, but I feel like if you've been with my channel for a while, you guys know how much I like Angelica. You know that I've tried Odin's Eye and I like it. It's just Obviously, it's an international brand, so shipping takes a little longer and it's a little more pricey. Um, so I don't have a lot by them, but I would love to start purchasing more by them. I want to try some of their highlights and some of their lipsticks because, oh, so pretty. So when this was teased and I knew that it was Odin's Eye and Angelica, I knew I had to get my hands on it. So I did buy this on launch day, and I was so excited because I actually did get the scarf with it. Um, there was a promo going on where the first people to order the product order the palette would get a scarf you just had to select the like palette and scarf option there's no extra charge it was just you know you order in time before they ran out of stock you got a scarf so I do have that it is up in my bathroom I was gonna like wear it today but I mean I wore just like a green or uh, a gray crew neck it wouldn't wouldn't have gone with it but I wore it to choir last night and I got a lot of compliments on it I wore it as like a ribbon on my hair and everyone was like whoa the artwork on that is really cool and I was like hmm yeah <laughs> So I do have that. It's super duper cute, and I'm going to start trying to wear it more often. There we go. She doesn't like them talking to people again. Oh, is she coming up? Oh, is she coming up? Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, no. <laughs> she, couldn't... <laughs> she couldn't figure out how to get onto this chair because it's not like a desk chair. It's not a sturdy surface. It's like a foldable chair. Oh. I'm sorry, Mo. I thought she was going to jump on the desk, actually. But yeah, so I am so excited about this. If you have not seen the packaging before, I do show this when I film this look, because this look is using the palette. But this is the box that it comes in, like the, um, the outer packaging. And then the palette is the same exact artwork in color, uh, whereas this one obviously is in black and white. The packaging is Angelica, represented as the goddess Hela. Um, Obviously, and the goddess of Hela is the goddess of death, so she represents death on part of it and then life on part of it, and I just think that is so cool. Uh, and the snake and the wolf are both Hela's children, I think, is the is the story. So I I took a Norse literature class, and um, it was sophomore year of college, and so I only remember a little bit of it. Um, but I'm pretty sure the snake and the wolf, whose names I can't remember, are her children. Uh, and so on the back, it does have all of the shade names on the back, which is super cool. And the card is upstairs, but it does come with a little card from Angie about, you know, why she came up with the color story that she did and all that type of things. So I just think that the packaging is absolutely stunning. It was actually really funny. So the packaging, like the box from Odin's Eye that it comes in is the same artwork that is on this palette. And I had it in like the recycle pile that my family and I start upstairs and then we bring down to the recycle bins every day. And my dad looks and he's like, this packaging is too stunning to throw away. What are you doing? So he came down here and he set it up like on my uh, etager over here. And it, so he just put two of the things that were on my etager in this box because he's like, no, you're not throwing this out. This is too pretty. I just thought that was really funny. So... Yeah, I am so excited about this palette. I have some swatches for you guys that I'm about to show you now. And after I show you the swatches, we're just going to get into creating this look because I was too excited to create this look and I hope you guys are ready to see it. Alrighty everyone, I hope you're excited. We are going to be playing with the Odin's Eye and Angelica Nikvis Hella palette. First of all, I know I've showed this in the intro, but like this artwork is absolutely stunning. This is the outer packaging. Um, and then when you slide it out of its box, it's the same exact artwork, but in color. And it's just, so beautiful. I have not swatched this. I have not done anything with this yet. So the intro that you're going to see a little bit, I haven't even filmed that yet. So this is brand spanking new, not touched. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm genuinely, I'm, 
I'm so excited. Like it's, this is not a color story that I would typically go for. And I think that's what makes it like so exciting. And so like almost nerve wracking too, because I'm like so scared. I'm going to like screw this up and do something like, <sighs> just, oh, it's so pretty. Okay. I have an idea what I want to do. And I think I know how I'm going to do it. I just need to actually do it. All right, I'm going to turn my mirror on, my light, and we're just going to go ahead and get started. I think we're going to do kind of like a half cut crease vibe. It's probably going to be one that you've seen someone do before. I have not watched, like I've, I've watched um, several videos on this palette since I got mine because of course there were people that got it early that have already used it. So I've watched several videos. Um, so I've definitely been inspired to play with certain color schemes and, and things like that, but for the most part I'm going to try to do something that I haven't seen someone do yet, but that also doesn't mean that someone hasn't done it. It just means that I haven't seen them do it. Uh, yeah, okay. Alright, so the first thing, the first color that I'm going to go in with is the first shade in the palette called Rebirth. I'm just going to kind of put that all over my lid as like a base. And I'm going to take my... Uh, blinged brushes E2 to do that. I'm literally just, I'm going to just pat that and just blend it lightly all over my, my lid and crease area. Almost to like set my primer. And I did not take the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. I just kind of want to see how this performs without that today. I'm just curious. So, and obviously this is a yellow, so it's adding a little bit of a yellow tint to my skin and that's totally fine. We're gonna go over it. I'm going to go in, I'm trying to decide if I want to do darkest to lightest or lightest to darkest. I think I want to do lightest to darkest today. So I'm gonna go in with this like beautiful yellowy mustard shade called Underworld. It's the third one in the palette. And I'm gonna put that all throughout my crease. There's quite a bit of kick up in the pan as I'm grabbing it. Wow, that is so much brighter than I thought it would be. Like I expected it to have a bit more like grungy vibes and this is, it's a lot like more of a brighter yellow green than I thought it was gonna be. That's really pretty though. Like it's the color that I wanted to be honest. And I think it's gonna look really cool with what I have planned. Super pretty. I'm just like, Looking at it right now, again, this is not a color scheme I typically play with, so my brain is like, oh god, it doesn't look right, but in theory I'm like, yes, actually, it does look great. It's just not what you're used to seeing on yourself. <laughs> I cannot tell you how much I was like watching my email and watching my front door yesterday when I realized that this palette was getting delivered today, or yesterday. I was watching my delivery email like a hawk waiting for it to say delivered and my mom got home and my dad was literally pulling into the court right as the mail truck stopped outside my house and I was like oh my god so dad was like package I was like I know I live watched I watched her drop it off it was just really exciting but I was so mad though because it arrived too late in the day for me to play with it yesterday so I was like crap I have to like to restrain myself for 24 hours <laughs> It's blending out really, really nicely. There's still quite a bit of pigment on there. I feel like I'm getting a little bit more pigment pigment on my right eye than I am my left. And I'm trying to just blend this out in circular motions. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with a slightly more concentrated brush. So this is the Blink Brushes and Page Corn E21. And now I'm gonna go in with the shade Moss right here. And I'm gonna take that about halfway into my crease area. And then I'm going to use the brush that I used for Underworld to kind of blend it out as I go. So this is just going to add a little bit of depth and a little bit more green to the look. And I'm not weighing this out, at least that's not my, my goal. I just kind of want to keep this very rounded on my eye. I love this shade, oh my god. This is only my second palette from Odin's Eye. I have the uh, the Freya palette, and that was really, really pretty. I just don't play with it enough. I need to like pull it out and play with it again because it's a really gorgeous color scheme. It's like that beautiful 
like Valentine's Day pink coral red vibes. It's very, very pretty. I just don't play with it enough yet because I kind of forget that I bought it. As I said, I've been playing with a lot of Nomad Blend Bunny recently, so things get lost in my collection a little bit. Although when I purchased this palette, I did pull out the Freya palette because I was like, I want to play with Odin's Eye. <laughs> Like, now that I'm buying another one, I want to play with Odin's Eye again. So again, this is blending into that yellow really, really nicely. Odin's Eye does have a really nice formula. I do remember that. Uh, like I said, I did play with the Freya palette somewhat recently when I bought this palette. Um, so I do remember them having a really nice formula. I'm going to add one more dark color here on the outer corner. So I really just want to make sure that these are all layering super nicely. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I have a, a second interview tomorrow for a job and I'm really nervous because I really want to get this job, but I don't know. We'll see. So now I'm going to go in with the smallest brush of all and I'm going to take, sorry, this is the Blink Brushes E22. So this is a more concentrated brush and I'm going to take that shade Ouroboros which I've seen a lot of people use. So, so pretty. And I'm gonna put that just right on that outer V. I really don't even wanna take it much farther than that. Obviously it's gonna go a little farther when it blends out, but that's really, I wanna keep that concentrated right on that outer corner. And it looks really, really gorgeous with those other two shades. And again, I'm just gonna kinda of take that original fluffy brush that has the yellow on it, and I'm just gonna buff that out some circles, some squishy motions. It did layer really nicely. Nicely, I'm not seeing any patchiness right there, which is great. Love that. Like, don't get me wrong, I wear greens and golds all the time, but they're never like this tone. Oh, I'm gonna have to start playing with this more often because this is really pretty. Again, at layering really nicely. I'm not seeing any patchiness over on this side either. My right side always applies better than my left. That's just the way that I apply shadows and the way that like I look in my mirror and like, I don't know. I always find that my right eye always looks better and applies better than my left does. But this is still very, very pretty. And they're actually turning out pretty even, not gonna lie. All right, so actually, I guess real quick, I should probably do my lower lash line, huh? Um, all right, so I'm gonna take pretty much the exact same thing that I have on my lid. I'm gonna take Ouroboros on the outer part of the lower lash line, followed by Moss, followed by Underworld, and just kind of like make that nice gradient from outer to inner. I'm gonna connect Ouroboros to the upper lid so that it goes full circle. It's not like an awkward shape or anything. I really like the shape Moss. That I think is my favorite so far. I'm about to get into some of these shimmers though and I'm so excited for those. Especially now that I have my NYX glitter glue. Mm. It's gonna be so good. Oh yeah, I don't think I've played with the NYX glitter glue on camera yet. So I went to Ulta finally and bought my NYX Glitter Glue. I went ahead and just bought two tubes of it right away to save myself some effort later uh, when I run out. And I really have been missing out, guys. I seriously, like, I put a swatch of one of the Nomad Cosmetic colors, like, just by itself on my hand, and then I put some glitter primer and did the swatch again for top. It's crazy. The difference and it was it was a duochrome shade so okay sorry I got cut off but basically what I was saying it didn't just bring out the the duochrome esque like the two different shifts of a duochrome it also just brought out that base color which in that case was a light blue so gorgeous so I have the crease area and the lower lash line done everything's blended out how I like it we're gonna go in with shimmer now so I'm going to take my NYX glitter glue NYX glitter primer excuse me I'm just going to put some of that on the back of my hand. And then, where's the brush that I've been using? 
So I'm going to use my Luxe Small Shader, the 245 brush, which I'm pretty sure is the same one I used to cut my crease with anyway, so this works out. And I'm going to put this in basically a cut crease shape on my eye. It's mostly going to go on the lid where there's already no pigment. And I'm going to take it all the way out there to that green, to the Ouroboros shade. But I imagine I'm just going to be layering that back on top of whatever shimmers I put over there because I still want to keep that depth and darkness out there. If you don't already have the next Glitter Glue, 10 out of 10 recommend. Alright. So now, turn this side. Do I want to keep using that brush actually to do this? I kind of think I do. Alright, I'm going to go in. Alright, here's, here's where I'm feeling indecisive. Do I go in, I know I want to use fluorescence because it's a gorgeous color. Do I want to go in with Golden Bridge or Venom on the outer half? Or am I going to try and fit all three on the lid? I feel like, I, I think I want to use fluorescence and Golden Bridge. and Because Ouroboros, again, is, I'm probably going to have to relayer that on the outer edge. So I think... Yeah, all right, so we're gonna go on fluorescence first. Oh my God, do you see that? Wow. That's fluorescent, all right. Oh my gosh. That is so stunning. That is so bright and beautiful. Oh my goodness. Wow. Like, I don't know how much you guys can see that, but like, this is one of the brightest shades I've ever used in my life. And again, I'm still trying to keep that kind of in that cut crease shape. But if it's not a perfectly shaped cut crease, that is okay. I'm really just kind of packing this on. I'm not blending it out a whole lot because I really want it to stick to that glitter primer. That is truly gorgeous. I'm only like brushing it, blending it out a little bit at that edge. All right, I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm go going to go in with Golden Bridge, which is that like mustardy green shimmer shade. Wow, that's really pretty. And that matches that second layer of the crease really nicely. They blend into each other really well. It does. It's not taking a lot of effort for me to blend that in. Wow, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I have seen someone do this look because I feel like it. Like on my eyelid, I'm like looking at it now, and I'm like, huh, who did this? Was it Angie? I don't even know. It's starting to look more familiar than I thought it was going to, so I apologize to whoever's look I, I more or less just like stole in recreating this. Um, it might have been Angie, it might not have been, I don't know, but this is just half cut creases trying on new palettes are the first place that my brain goes to, so. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, mm, I've definitely seen someone do this. Yeah, these are blend, these two metallics are blending into each other really really nicely all right and so then I'm just gonna go back in I'm gonna go back in with Ouroboros just on that outer corner to bring back that depth that I lost when I put a little bit of golden bridge over there and I'm just gonna very very gently blend that into golden bridge beautiful and it's nice because it like now that outer corner is kind of shimmery too because that has the golden bridge shade underneath it. Very, very pretty. Oh, I'm so excited. This looks so fun and like, I'm definitely getting snake vibes from this. Like slither little snake snake. Alright, the last thing I want to do, I think, is I want to take, this is, I mean, this is very stereotypical, but I'm going to take double-sided and I'm gonna put that on my inner corner because it just looks so pretty.
Oh, that's right. This is the duochrome, I think. Is this the duochrome or the multichrome? Because it's got like this like gorgeous like peachy shift to it. Wow, that's so I don't know how much you guys can see that peachy shift there, but like wow, that's really pretty. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this look up off camera and then I will come back and give you guys my final thoughts. Alrighty y'all, so this is the final look that I came up with. I just added like a mint green liner to my waterline, put some mascara on, some eyeliner on. I used the uh, the lunar liner that I had a long time ago. Not a long time ago, but like I had stopped using it and I'm trying to finish it up now because I'm trying to like pan a lot of my eyeliners. Um, and then I used a ColourPop Lip Pencil and Love Bug the Morphe Liquid Lipstick in Virgin, and then the ColourPop Just a Tint uh, Mini in Coconut Juice from the Animal Crossing collection. So that, oh, and a uh, Flexitarian Highlighter from ColourPop, the Super Shock Highlight. So that is how I finished off my look today. I, I'm looking at my monitor right now. I'm kind of really obsessed with how it came out. Like I, I kind of really like this color scheme on my eyes. I'm not going to lie. This is not one that I'm used to doing, and I'm kind of really vibing with it. Part of me also wants to pair this with like a red lip next time I do it because I used to pair like greenish eyes and red lips all the time and it was like, I don't know, it was just super fun. Like it was very bold. Normally you go like a bold eye and a nude lip, but I like, I don't live by that philosophy. <laughs> I live by bold and bold. So um, I went more neutral today, but I kind of want to try pairing it with a red lip. I think that would be really, really cool. Overall first impressions. Again, this is a first impression video. This is my first time trying out the palette. I definitely want to play around with it more um, and kind of experiment with the colors. Obviously, I really didn't even touch this bottom row other than the duochrome over here. So I want to play with those. But I, I'm really, really excited about this. First of all, I have the Kaleidos and Cl uh, Club Nebula palette that Kaleidos did with Angelica. And so I already knew that Angelica's mind worked in brilliant ways because that color scheme is just so much fun. And also Kaleidos' formula, as I've now discovered, is really great. So I've been waiting for the day that she collabed with Odin's Eye. So I remember like when they first teased a new collaboration palette, I was like, it's got to be Angelica. Like they didn't even have to post any photos or anything. I was like, it's Angelica. It's got to be because they would be missing out if they didn't. So when I saw that it was, I was like, yes, fantastic. Thank you. This is all I've wanted. Um, yeah, I love Angelica Nikivis. I have a video up on my channel where I recreated one of her makeup looks. I'm pretty sure using the Club Nebula palette. I don't remember. But like, yeah, I love Angelica. I think she is just brilliant and so talented. And I would love to just meet her one day because she's super chill. And she lives in the U.S. now, so that's really fun. Yeah, first impressions. I really, really like it, and I cannot wait to keep using it. I'm so excited. Tomorrow, tomorrow we're playing with this lower section. I'm so excited. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know how you guys feel about this look down below. And also, I want to get like your guys' opinion on something. I am really bad about making TikTok videos and reels for my Instagram of looks that I do, but I kind of feel like I really should start getting into that. But only if it's something that you guys are interested in seeing. So if you are interested in seeing me actually try to like do reels and TikTok videos and stuff like that of my looks that I don't necessarily film on YouTube. Ones that I'm filming for YouTube like this one, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to have YouTube going and no. But ones that I just do on a daily basis, let me know if that's something you guys are interested in seeing. Because I will start trying to like do those for you if you want to see them. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everybody.